Hey guys, it's Riku Keyblade Master again with my second upload for today. That's right. Well, you guys know where this is gonna go real quick. Judging by the tone of my voice. Um, something just done pissed me off. Earlier, when I posted a video about going to hang out with a friend, well, whom I've considered a sister, well, not really a sister, but, um, well, let's just say she's my really, really close friend, my friend Brianna, who I told you has a YouTube channel that, uh, does critiques and stuff. Well, unfortunately for me, I was supposed to go hang out with her tonight. And I was supposed to spend the night with her. Well, unfortunately, her sister changes the plans. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Screw you, Sugar Skull. I thought we were friends. I literally thought we were. You know? To quote Seto Kaiba here, watch it. Push me too far and you'll regret it, Wheeler! Guess what? She's Wheeler, she pushed me too far, and she's gonna regret it. Yeah. Not even kidding at this point. I, I literally don't even care. A lot of people ask me, why would you rather hang out with cyber characters and long distance friends. Well, guess what? Now you know why. Because people close to me cannot keep a fucking promise. They can't. I mean, I was willing to make a few exceptions, but let me tell you something. I have had a lot of plans ruined, a lot of hopes dashed. I cannot wait until I move. Because you want to know what? Then I won't have to deal with people that much anymore. If people think that they're going to fucking pull this shit on me, if they think Sorry, but if they think they're going to pull this crap on me, it's not going to work. It's not even worth it. Making new friends isn't even worth it. Nothing is even worth it anymore. Because I just wish people would just get... If, if they would just keep true to their promises, then fine. You know... If they have a reasonable explanation, then fine. But if they throw things at me in the last minute, that's when I start to get pissed. Like, you don't even know. Like, you don't even know. Like, okay. I'm a, I, I'd like to consider myself a generous person, but when people decide to make a plan with me, or make a promise with me, I expect them to go through with it, unless they have a reason, a legitimate reason, mind you. As to why they didn't go through with this. It makes literally no sense. Like. What the fuck is wrong with you people? What am I supposed to do? I. Work my ass off. Trying to make these different plans to hang out with people. And do things that other people 
asked me to do. What the hell? They're, they're bugging me about being patient with things. Well, guess what? Patience is no longer happening. I legit don't have patience anymore. Goodbye. Good luck. Get the hell out of here. I have had I have had it. This is the last straw that I'm ever going to put up with. Ever. At least with cyber characters, they don't break their word. They don't break their promises. Unless their story is written to the point where they end up breaking one, I can understand. But, they try their damnedest, at least some of them I know for a fact. Like Riku from the Kingdom Hearts series, I'd rather hang out with him then hang out with a bunch of actual people because he actually gets me. Not even kidding. Why do you think I changed my fucking profile picture to him? Because he is definitely one cyber character that gets me. Him and I are exactly the same. We go through practically the same exact struggles, get exact by, get betrayed by the exact same kinds of people. Like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I am so pissed. It is not even funny. I am sorry for the profanity, but you try making so many plans and devoting your life to others. You try devoting your life to others only to get broken down. Yeah. Yeah. People have taken my generosity way too far. If people think that I'm going to stay the nice person forever, I mean, I am nice, but like I said in the beginning of this video, push me too far and you're going to regret it. In the beginning of this little cast, I'm not even kidding, push me too far, and I swear to God you will regret it. Especially since I have powers beyond your comprehension. Well, I can't say beyond, beyond everyone's comprehension, because some people understand. Like, Key Keepers, you understand completely what I'm talking about. Freaking, my own mom understands what I'm talking about. She has a little bit of a touch of these powers, but she doesn't, she's not, like, full on like me. But she gets it. It just irritates the living fuck out of me. I mean, seriously. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do here? Keep being nice for the rest of my life? I'm not going to say that it's not going to happen. But... I might use Nomine's spell after all. 
put a tight lock on my heart so it can never be broken again. Not even kidding. I might have her put a tight lock on my heart so it can never be broken again. It's ridiculous that I have to go through this crap. Every single moment of my life is a game of chance. And for what particular reason? Okay. I was born with a heart of gold. Which little by little got chipped away from everyone just flat out making fun of me and flat out destroying me. Like, I am not even kidding here. I, I, I'm not even kidding here. There is no kidding around here. This is ridiculous. I am this close! To just hanging out with them and nobody visible because of this. If you thought the incident with Nora's was bad, this is pretty major too. Like, I am not gonna lie. On the bright side though, the nobodies is getting set up. We need one more member, which I'm, I'm very happy with. Um, I'm very happy with in, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge deal for me that this is happening, not just for me, but for any Formal 307 and Mokiwa Gaming and our newest recruit, Sora Guardian of Light. Which is really ironic since I am Keyblade Master Riku and he is Sora Guardian of Light. Um, which is, honestly, this is, our, our names totally fit. Not only that, but our ironic Keyblade choices, they totally fit as well. Let's hope the last member of our group can synchronize with this fit. But, um... In terms of everything, though, it just... It just pisses me off. Because... Everybody just keeps making promises to me. This has happened practically my whole life. Everybody just keeps br making promises to me and then just flat out breaking them and then expecting me, expecting, oh, well, she's not going to treat this as a big deal. You know what? I am treating this as a big deal. Because this is huge. This is really, really fucking huge. Like, not even joking. This is bad. This is like, this is way worse than bad. 
If anybody can think of what I'm trying to say, leave it in the comments. I don't really care. But there's a word I'm searching for and it just won't come out. And I just don't understand why people do this to me. Hell! I'm, I'm literally about to quote an Evanescence song here, too. I'll numb the pain till I am made of stone. For those of you who don't know where that line is from, it's uh, from an Evanescence song called Made of Stone, which is on the Evanescence Deluxe album. But seriously, back to the topic here, um, like I said, this is a major pain in the ass. This is ridiculous. I, I can't help but feel like my main purpose in life is to be a punching bag for everybody to take their anger out on and for everybody to... I also consider myself a broken glass. Like a glass that everyone can just straight up knock over and shatter. I feel like that's one of my main purposes now. Because I'm not stupid. I'm smart. I can put two and two together. I can tell the difference. I can tell the fucking difference, people. I'm not even playing. I am not even playing. And... If I have to raise awareness towards... My hatred for... This type of thing... Then so be it. Because I swear to God, I am this close to just not wanting anything to do with people that much anymore. I mean... Yeah, I'm currently in a relationship, and I'm not going to disclose with who right off the bat right now, but some of you know. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't... And that particular person, I'm... I'll deal with you... And I'll deal with my mom, but, and I'll deal with my friend Sam, but legitimately, and, and I'll deal with the group that I'm in because, you know, they actually get me unlike other people. But like I'm, like... My main point is, there's only a select few that I am willing to deal with now. And you know what, Bree? Now your sister is no longer one of those people. I thought she liked me. I thought, you know, we were friends. I thought people, I thought people would never double cross me again, but honestly, 
I... I don't even know anymore. But anyway, guys, that's all I have. You know the drill. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But I'm not even kidding. I love you guys to death. And you guys are the best. Thanks for supporting me and sticking with me here. But like I said, just comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder, continue to show your support, and I'll check in with you guys later. Peace.